Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today we're going to bust a myth on EMP pulses and Faraday cages. We're not going to talk a whole lot about Faraday cages or EMP pulses in this video because we're going to come back and do a larger video later. So anyway, if you search out EMP pulses or Faraday cages, which is how you protect your equipment against Faraday uh, EMP pulses, you'll most definitely find on the first or second page of the searches um, people telling you to use microwaves as a Faraday cage, as an improvised Faraday cage. And so because it's my life and not theirs, I want to test it. And this works about 25-30% of the time, the rest of the time it does not block the signal. And so we're going to do it just to show you that it does not always block the signal. Um, basically, they say a microwave is a Faraday cage because of the metal mesh on the front that keeps the microwaves from cooking you as it cooks your sandwich. Okay, so the idea is, since it can block out the microwaves, maybe it can block out you know, EMP pulse. But you're also talking about orders of magnitude of, of uh, a lot of strength. Things that can block a cell phone signal uh, won't be able to block a walkie-talkie, and we'll show that in our later video. But just to show you that we're on the up and up, I'm going to call the phone and show you that it works. All right, so it's working. And you've got to realize this is only a tenth of a watt, so uh, blocking this is not really that huge of a accomplishment. It doesn't take a lot to block a cell phone. You see it? I think we can show that using a microwave as a Faraday cage is a busted myth. So, until next time, you can always catch us online at www.tngun.com.